So the dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia. So this is one of your biological explanations for schizophrenia alongside genetics and neural correlates. So if you get a question that asks you about biological explanations, you need to be aware that dopamine hypothesis could fit under that umbrella term. So the original hypothesis stated that during the synaptic process, too much dopamine is released and that leads to the symptoms of schizophrenia. Now, schizophrenics are thought to have abnormally high numbers of D2 receptors, which results in more dopamine binding and therefore more neurons firing. So dopamine neurons play a key role in guiding attention. So disturbances in this process may lead to problems in relating to attention perception, which is thought to be found in individuals with schizophrenia. Therefore, this is leading to those symptoms surrounding um, issues with perception and attention, such as delus delusions and hallucinations. Now, the revised hypothesis has suggested that high levels of dopamine are in the mesolimbic system are associated with positive symptoms, whereas negative and cognitive symptoms come from a deficit of levels in the mesocortical dopamine system. So this is the idea that it's not high levels of dopamine, it is abnormal levels of dopamine. So positive symptoms are associated with high levels of dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway, whereas low levels of dopamine are associated with negative and com um, cognitive sim symptoms in the mesocortical system. So if we were to look at some AO3 then, we have supporting evidence. So research um, induced schizophrenic-like behaviour in rats by giving them amphetamines, which increased dopamine production. And then when they um, took them off and gave them neuroplegic drug, drugs, which um, inhibited the release of dopamine, so lowered the dopamine levels, that schizophrenic behaviour disappeared. So this implies that high levels of dopamine is linked to schizophrenic symptoms. However, an issue with this research is it's done on rats and extrapolation to humans. It's likely that although there might be some biological similarities, um, we should be cautious when generalising to humans. Equally, we have inconclusive evidence from PET scans, so we have contradictory evidence. So they failed to find convincing evidence of altered levels of dopamine in the brains of individuals with schizophrenia. So therefore, this implies that dopamine might not be the sole cause and we all offer a full explanation of schizophrenia. So therefore, we should be cautious when um, drawing conclusions from research. However, it has been useful, it has led to real world application and effective drug therapy. So this has led to antipsychotic medication being developed which um, reduces dopamine levels and it's been found to be uh, more effective than placebos in reducing symptoms of schizophrenia. So if the drug treatment can lead to successful um, management and treatment of schizophrenia, it implies that the um, explanation of high levels of dopamine or altered levels of dopamine is a valid explanation for the cause of schizophrenia. Now equally in regards to the testability we have issues surrounding cause and effect so we can't establish cause and effect. In a review of post-mortem studies it was found that patients who displayed high dopamine levels had received antipsychotic medication before they died. So we can't establish whether um, dopamine levels um, cause schizophrenia, whether schizophrenia causes the high levels of dopamine, or whether the antipsychotic medication altered their levels of dopamine within the brain. So in terms of a 16 marker then, discuss one or more biological explanation of schizophrenia. So again, with this one, you could just talk about the dopamine hypothesis or you could include another explanation, which would be your genetic or neural correlates. Equally, you could get a, schizophrenia, um, a 16 marker on schizophrenia that's outlined and evaluate the dopamine hypothesis as an explanation of schizophrenia. So remember, with the 16 marker, you need two um, AO1 paragraphs and three to four evaluation points.